Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the service host diagnostic policy service is experiencing high CPU and memory usage on your computer. So if you're trying to troubleshoot some sort of component on your operating system and you notice that this error appears to be coming up or it just seems to be really slow and you notice it appears that this process is taking up a lot of memory on your computer. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we are going to start off by opening up the start menu. Just go off on the start button one time. Type in services. Best result should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down this list until you find Diagnostic Policy Service. Right here. Go ahead and double click on that. For service status, it says running. Go ahead and select stop. And then once it's stopped, we're going to go ahead and select the start option. So go ahead and select start. And startup type, make sure that's set to automatic here. And then select apply and OK to save the change. And once that is done here, what we can do is close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing we can try if you're still having a problem here would be to go ahead and open up the start menu again. I'm going to have some text in the description of the video. I want you guys to paste it in. It starts with a percent sign and then win dir and then it ends with sru. Go ahead and left click on that. I will have this in the description of my video. I want you guys just to copy and just paste it into the start menu search. Go ahead and select continue if you need administrator permissions to access this folder. So once you've located that, again, this is after you've restarted your computer and you're still having the problem, would be to then open up the start menu and type in services here. Go ahead and open that up. You can keep this other window open that we just located in the background here. And now you want to go, again, locate the diagnostic policy service. and select stop the service on the left side right here just left click on that and now back in this folder here there should be an item that says srudb.dat go ahead and right click on it and delete it now that you've done that close out of here restart your computer and then hopefully again your issue should have been resolved so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye